<clears throat> hey guys, what's up? Y2M here, otherwise known as... <laughs> oh man, Mario here, otherwise known as Y2M on the interwebs. Oh, well, corrected myself. So, we just had the second semifinal match played today between Germany and Spain. And Germany totally won! Is what I would say if Germany had, uh, you know, actually won. In a surprising turn of events, at least to me, um, Spain once again defeated another team by the bare minimum, 1-0. By Puyol's header was the only goal and ended up being the winning goal for Spain. What happened here? It seemed like from the get-go the Germans just weren't feeling it. The Spanish actually played the better game, which shocked the hell out of me. Because up until this point, the Germans have been steamrolling ev just about every opponent they've come across. With the exception of Serbia. Um, it, it, it really was no joke what they did to the likes of Argentina and England. And, uh, well, I can't even remember the other two teams they steamrolled. But, yeah, it's just, I'm in shock. I really thought the German boys were going to be able to make it to the finals. But... They'll have to settle for duking it out with the Uruguay in the third place game. Now here's why I thought Germany was going to, you know, take it or go all the way or, or at least be in the finals. You see, a historical president would have been, or a, another, uh, or I should say a repeat of history maybe would have happened had Germany made it to the World Cup finals. They would have had to take on, on the Netherlands. And if you remember your World Cup history, uh... The last two times these two teams met were, or was in 1974 and 78, respectively, uh, back when the two when there were two Germanys, East and West, and the Germany that we associate with more closely to the modern one is, of course, West Germany. And both times, the Dutch have taken on the Germans, and both times they lost. They failed to win, and coming close, but failing to win each time, and both times the Germans won. You know, took it. So, I thought we were going to see the epic rematch of that, but I guess uh, the Spanish had other plans. This is interesting. This is going to set a precedent for two, really for two reasons. Number one, um, the whole European curse, I guess that's not going to happen now. Um, what I mean by that is that up until this World Cup, no European team has won the World Cup outside of Europe. Uh, but that's about to change because, well, we have two European teams in the finals, so no avoiding it. Second of all is that we are going to have a new champion. Uh, there's only been a select few nations that have won the World Cup in the last uh, 18 World Cups, I believe. Or 14. Okay. Well, anyway, basically there's... Only been a select few that have ever lifted the trophy, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Brazil's hogged it with five, and then Italy with four, and Germany with three. Um, so yeah, I mean, it, there's only been a select few nations that have actually lifted the cup. So this will set another president, because no matter who wins on Sunday, uh, there's going to be a new champion. Will it be Spain? Will it be Netherlands? Don't know. Anyway, before I get into that one, let's talk about the upcoming third place match. Now, I know, really, it's the third place match, but, you know, these guys deserve to go out and at least get, some, you know, take some last bit of glory for their country. But if I had to say who would be the one ending up with officially with the title of third place, I'd, I'd have to go with the Uruguay. I think that whatever momentum Germany had got stopped when they lost to Spain, and will probably... Not, got, not get started up again when they take on Uruguay. Uruguay just had a lot of spirit. They have Diego Forlan's long-range shots. Uh, they have a lot going for them. And I really think that Uruguay will actually surprise everyone and take the day. Even if it's not the World Cup, they'll take third place. Uh, as for the finals themselves, the Dutch versus the Spanish. You know, I have two fantasy brackets set up in two different websites. On one, I predicted that Spain would win the World Cup. On the other one, I predicted that the Netherlands would win the World Cup. So I guess what I'm trying to say is that no matter who wins, I'll at least be right in one of those brackets. So, yay me. But, if I had to choose a winner, uh, the Spanish did really well, played defensively, 
play technically. But if I but if I choose a winner, I think the Dutch might very well get the World Cup that they've been coveting for so long. The best team to have never won the World Cup, well, I guess we're going to have to stop using that title. At least that's what I think on Sunday. So, there you go, Dutch fans. The, I think the Dutch will take it. We will see, though. I also said the Germans will take out Spain. So, we'll see. Either way, I'll have, at least one of my brackets will, won't be totally destroyed. Anyway, uh, I'll be off until Saturday. Um, and I might be a little bit late. Once again, the needs of the family... Or well, really, I'm just messing around with the family, but I might be a little late with the postings, but hopefully not too late. Um, but, you know, we'll see. All right, enjoy the games on the weekend. Have a good, have, have a nice day. Enjoy the sport, and until next time, Y2M out.